Alright guys, here's another review. Um, this one is on, as the title suggests, on Amouage Interlude. Um, and I wanted to do this fragrance review because this is a new fragrance that has just been launched and I believe not every country has it yet. Um, I wanted to get the full bottle um, alone just for the fact that the bottle looks stunning royal blue, beautiful um, but I I mean I saw um, decants being sold and I got two 10ml decants of interlude man um, thank you Ruth and um, this stuff is strong so I, I thought I will go through these really quickly and no, I don't know how long I will I will keep these um, because these are so potent and as a comment, I know people have um, who have smelled this and worn this. Um, they have commented that this can become very cloying. Yes, it can, um, and that is because you are overspraying, and overspraying would be through sprays and above. Honestly, this stuff is so strong because when you first spray it on the skin, it's not as strong, but um, as as time goes by, this it develops into a much stronger uh, scent, personally. And if you had um, if you had sprayed too many times, um, that will perpetuate and become really strong. So take it easy on the sprayer. Now, I could read out the note breakdown as it is officially on the website. On the other hand, usually when I have fragrances on my skin, I don't necessarily as uh, uh, sniff out or get most of the notes, either because of my ignorance, because I might not know certain notes in terms of how they smell, or generally they, on my skin, they just don't uh, project. So what I'll do is just tell you how I, no, what I get on my skin. So I, I sprayed it just a few months ago on my right hand and about half an hour ago on my left hand. So I'll give you what I get from the top. Um, now, I actually get a zestiness, which is afforded by the bergamot. I do get that. But that will go very quickly. In fact, forget about it. You won't really smell that as this, as this fragrance develops. Um, and this zestiness is accompanied by um, a smoky incense. It's sweet. It's not too strong. Um, I love it. It's a great opening. It really is. Some don't like it. I do. I think it's unique enough and really well made. And you can slowly um, sort of pick out the leather. And this is why I want to smell my left hand now. Where the leather is so much more accentuated. You can smell the leather. It's fantastic. I love the leather. It's so well done. The leather is partnered by smoky incense and sweetness again Ooh, I know there's oud in here and I sort of pick it out but it's not really an oud intensive scent personally um, and this sweetness that I get sort of reminds me of vanilla and I, I know vanilla is not part of the fragrance but that's what I get Others might <clears throat> associate the sweetness with another accord. I get a vanilla accord, um, which again is it's stunning. I love that. Longevity-wise, this is crazy. It's 10 to 15 hours on my skin. And my skin tends to eat up fragrances. Yes, eat them up real quick. So this is fantastic. Projection-wise, again, amazing. Uh, it's a beastly beastly um, fragrance. It projects so well and as mentioned in the beginning after a while this becomes stronger. So one or two sprays um, I would suggest on each pulse point just here it will last a very long time and project so well. As for whether a lady could wear this, I think so. Yeah, why not? Um, of course they can. Um, 
and in regards to making comparisons to me like I've smelt all of the amouages I just I'm just more um, aware of memo I just it just memo comes to mind when I smell this uh, because of the smokiness now memoir to me and I think most of you will agree hence the bottle color too is represents darkness darkness interlude represents a brighter side um, how else could I put it memoir is something that Batman would wear and amouage interlude this would be Superman's signature scent Superman um, thanks for watching it again.